Welcome back to the Miss Linda C. Jones YouTube Variety Channel. I am coming to you from my beautiful historic hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana. The title of this video is My Tribute to Princess Diana, Queen of Hearts. For quite some time, I have been wanting to do my own personal tribute video to Princess Diana with my own personal opinions, relatability, and thoughts about this incredible, extraordinary human being who graced our planet for only 36 years. And so I thought, as we most recently remember the 25th anniversary year passing of this beautiful human being on August the 31st of 1997, I thought that perhaps this would be the time. So just a little bit about the basics. Princess Diana was born on July the 1st of 1961. Again, tragically passed from this earth on August the 31st of 1997. Princess Diana was a member of the royal family, the royal British family. She was the first wife of Charles, who at the time was Prince of Wales, and mother of their two children, William and Harry. Princess Diana was approximately two and a half years older than me, and like so many millions around the world, I have very vivid memories memories of being 17 years old and sitting up with my family to watch the royal wedding. And from that moment on, I was a mega admirer and fan of this phenomenal human being who I feel throughout her entire life of 36 years graced our planet with a message of love a message of love, the very core of our existence. As human beings, we all profoundly need love and we need to be able to give love. And that was exactly what Princess Diana did. She gave love. She continually taught a message of love and the world over shared their love and affection for her. When I was a young girl growing up in New Orleans, I had very, very long hair. And then my cousin, Annette, hey Annette if you're watching, um, was always someone who could cut hair pretty well. And so when I was in eighth grade, she cut my hair like shoulder length. But as a few years passed and Princess Diana was introduced to the world at that time as Lady Diana before she got married, the Princess Diana haircut was the thing. So I've had just about every variation of the Princess Diana haircut among, again, so many around the world. And to this day, while I have a more, you know, updated um, styling of that cut, I can still see some reflections of the Princess Diana haircut. I'd always been a fan of hats growing up, and so I would go out and try to find a replica of some of the many beautiful hats that Princess Diana, in her phenomenal style, her phenomenal styling, I would, I would look toward one of those hats. I even had the cute little hat that um, it was a different color, but the one that she wore when she was going off to her honeymoon with the little feather, I even had one of those. I loved that hat. I should have purchased hat boxes because upon a move, I had placed all of my quote-unquote Princess Diana hats in this huge box, and in the process of the move, something very heavy was placed on that box, and all my hats were smashed. But for a time in my life, I had many of the Princess Diana hats. So much has been written about Princess Diana, so many books, so many film documentaries, it goes on and on and on. So, of course, I'm going to place a couple of links of um, interviews in this 
particular video my personal tribute to Princess Diana, but it's very easy. All you have to do is Google on a general Google search or a search right here on the YouTube platform, and you can look up just about anything and everything that you would ever want to find about Princess Diana. What I'm going to do in the link in this description is place an excerpt from one of my favorite videos where she really gets to tell her side of things, her story, and isn't that fair? We all have our side of things, right? Um, so this particular excerpt, it's not the entire video, but to paraphrase what Diana said, she was asked if um, she thought she would ever be queen, and she said no, but what would she would like to be is queen of hearts. She would like to be uh, the queen of people's hearts, and to also paraphrase, she said that someone's got to get out there and love people. Okay, that she was and remains the queen of people's hearts, and ultimately, in my humble opinion, and I think I share that opinion with so many around the world, at the end of the day, isn't that the most important thing, to be loved and to be able to give love? All she ever wanted was love and to be able to give love. And at the core of our very human existence, that's what we want. We also want acceptance. That's part of being loved. When she went through her divorce, and so many people, I think, can relate to this, she literally had to reinvent herself. And she found a very intelligent way to do that. She wanted simply to use this extraordinary platform that she had to highlight causes that were very near and dear to her heart. For example, landmines. And so she did that exquisitely and beautifully. You know, not everyone finds themselves in the position of having to do this, but Princess Diana certainly had to find ways to reinvent herself and what she was going to do with her life going forward. It's not always easy if any of us are placed in that position, but she did it so eloquently and beautifully. Here's the thing, everyone, and I've said this in so many previous videos in my YouTube channel. In biblical scripture, it says that it is very important to put our light high up on a hill and let it shine for others, not to hide it under a bushel basket. And to paraphrase some philosophers out there, philosophers have even said that there is nothing so great about hiding your light because when you allow your light to shine you unconsciously give others permission to do the same as in princess diana's life and so many of our lives unfortunately we may encounter scenarios where people try to put our lights out they try to smother our lights again as i've preached on my channel for years do not allow other people to do that you're not doing yourself a favor or anyone. There are going to be people who, for whatever reason, can't handle the light that you bring into a room, and they will do everything that they can to bring you down. Let your light shine anyway. There are people, the world needs your light. People need your light. They need the genuine love that you bring. So let your light shine anyway. Let your light shine anyway. Find a way to reinvent yourself because there's going to be people who are going to try to hang on to the beautiful things that you once were the creator of. Well, you hold that within you just as you did then. You can do it now. That's what Princess Diana did. She said she wanted to be the queen of people's hearts. And again, that she was. I think that, in my personal humble opinion, and so many British people and people around the world had said this, but they had never seen people quite like Diana reach out and touch humanity the way she did. She brought the royal family and their rigid rules into 
a new dimension, to get out there and be real with people. That's what people need. People need someone like this with this kind of light to be real with people and to to show an example. So in my humble opinion, she helped them in her own gentle, caring, loving way to see that this is what people need. So many songs have been written about this, and as the old song says, what the world needs now is love, sweet love, and that indeed is exactly what the world needs. The world needs love, sweet love. So when you watch this video and you, you see her profound authenticity, you see her speaking from her heart. That was the message over and over and over and over again. And I would, I think that from the deepest personal, my personal feelings about this, for as long as I can remember, even before I was introduced to Diana as the world was, my favorite scripture reading from 1 Corinthians, the greatest of these is love, that message where at the end of that reading it says, and in the end there are only three things that last, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. You can see, you can see by her expressions, the authenticity. There is nothing fake about this woman. There is nothing fake about this woman. So with all my heart, thank you, Princess Diana, for what you gave to the world. I never got to meet you, but like millions of people, you touched my heart profoundly. And as I'm showing these pictures from one of the many books I was given as a gift, one of the souvenir books that documented your life, I'm just so grateful that there was someone like you on this level to just inject um, love, love, love to the world. Love is so, 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 so important. So I could go on and on and on about how much I admire this incredible lady, but go ahead and Google her. And if you get a chance to watch at least one or two of the videos that I will post in the link in the description of this video. I think that you will find it very interesting. What I'll do is maybe I'll, I'll post maybe some excerpts of the royal wedding just to go back to the younger Diana and then that Diana. But um, I just think that when someone graces the world stage as she did, it leaves a profound impact on everyone, a profound impact. And as we so very much need good examples, good examples of just the basic authenticity of that four letter word, L-O-V-E, love, here's a great example of that. Here's a great example, Princess Diana, Queen of People's Hearts. Thank you, Diana, and may you continue to rest in peace as I know you will. Thank you all so much for being a part of the Miss Linda C. Jones YouTube Variety Channel. I am grateful for all of you. If you were just happening to happen upon my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. When you subscribe, it's absolutely free of charge to do so, but it is a great way to help artists such as myself, YouTubers, on this platform with no cost to you. And for any of you who have inquired about my virtual tip jars, I will place a link in the description. And for those of you that, that like to do that, I am very, very grateful. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, peace out and God bless. And if you would like to share uh, peaceful, kind comments about 
any positive impacts of Diana's message of love and what that is meant to you in your life, I would love to interact with you in the comments below. All right, everybody, have a great day. Bye.